Hey there everyone, welcome back to another Ark Survival Ascended video. As always, I'm Captain Beefy. This is the Game Vault, and we are here in the Redwoods, sitting on top of a tree platform. Why, you might ask? I'll answer that question, but first, let's cue up the music and we'll get right into it. So to get started off here, I was I had gotten recently uh, the Dodicarus and the Beaver, the Castroids, wherever he is. Uh, there he is over here. To start building my base up on Herbivore Island. And then I realized something. I don't like that location, right? It's a great starter location. It's nice and safe and all that. But I believe I've moved far beyond wanting to live there or even needing to live there. So I took some of the resources I had. I built two platforms. And I came out here, as you can see, got the platforms right next to each other. I have to get rid of that tree there. It's kind of bothering things a little bit. But we put them here in the redwoods. And here's the coordinates right here. 6280, 30.3. It's right close to this nice little pond river to head south into the um, swamp area. And then you got the artifact of the immune cave over here, which is... Uh, a really good cave for farming once you get um, a gas mask you can go in there and farm tons of blueprints lots of chitin lots of cementing paste if you got a frog just an absolute winner of a cave and definitely worth being close to now another reason a couple other reasons we moved here is right up here I have tons and I mean tons of metal uh, crystal and obsidian I can go up over here and get a lot of organic polymer without an issue of course, there's stone and all the basics around over here. But we also got a lot of uh, the ability to tame a lot of creatures in this area and find all sorts of cool stuff going on. You know, down by the water, we've got plenty of uh, carnivores that we can that spawn in. We've got, um, what do you call it, uh, dire bears down here, giant bees, all kinds of fun stuff. So, yeah, this is going to be a much more centralized area. What I'm going to do is cannibalize the old base to some degree and bring a lot of that stuff here that way we can uh, get to work on you know I don't have to rebuild everything that I don't want to I might scrap some of the stuff down there but stuff like the uh, all the AA stuff I built I'm gonna bring up here and we're gonna use it here so yeah that's the plan um, I'm gonna get let's hop on our bird here for a minute just take a little flight around and I'll show you so here's the water right down here this is why I chose this location for one reason we can put a water tap in probably right here and it might reach up there we might need to extend it a little bit and if we do we will not a big deal right but we could definitely do that these tree platforms can be built up and down we can also put tree taps in and that's one of the reasons I built here too you see I have a tree tap right here I'm kind of landing right on top of it okay <laughs> that wasn't planned but yeah, that'll get us a tree sap, which is good for the highest tier kibble. What I'm doing is prepping up to make some high, high tier kibble. And I'm talking the highest tier. That way we don't have to worry about any of the other kibble once that's done. But yeah, we'll look around here a little bit. You got some megatherium. Dimorphs, all kinds of fun stuff to tame. And sometimes there's Ovis in this area. Oh my god, there's a baby dire bear. I did not think... That was the thing that I keep finding new babies that I don't remember seeing before. Ever since Scorched Earth came out, and I guess, um, you know, I don't know if all those updates happened then, but I know Scorched Earth gave us some uh, new babies that we didn't have, like Thylas, for instance. And I think Dire Wolves. I don't think we had Dire Wolves before Scorched Earth. Now, it looks like they just keep adding more and more to the game, which is absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love it. I always thought it was kind of weird. It's like, well, why does this creature not have a... Um, you know, a baby when everybody else does. You know, they should either all have babies or none, none of them have babies. I mean, back in the day, it was only the uh, Kairuku, the penguins that had babies. So, yeah, it's kind of funny. Let me knock this tree down. There we go. Should have put the beaver on that. We would have got a ton of stuff. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and gather up some resources. And we're going to get to work on fortifying this a little bit and just making it home. One of the main things I want to build here is a bed. Um, I did bring over five of these with me, five of these OCD vaults, so we're going to start using them accordingly once I figure out how this is going to be laid out. 
So far, we've got two of these. Ugh, I was a little nervous making that jump. We're going to have to make something go across here. And I think I might have to turn this one just a tiny bit to try and line it up better. Ugh, there we go. Yeah, so we'll see what happens with that. So I'll be back after we do a little bit of gathering. And I think we'll start with some stone. All right, we're going to bring you back here for a minute just to show you kind of some of the progress that's been made so far. Oh, there's a car now. Don't tell me. He really is coming up here. Oh, my effing God. Awesome. This is just what I wanted to have happen. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks a lot, Karno. Um, yeah, Terror Bird had a little something on him. <laughs> and Terror Bird. Uh, and how much damage did you guys do to this thing? Oh, yeah, there's all kinds. Oh, yeah. You didn't damage that. That's good. That's okay. That's okay. I think it's just the uh, actual <laughs> freaking thing. I might have enough to repair it. Let's see. Um, I'm going to go to repair. And it's preparing. Okay. I do have enough stuff. So anyway, I went back and forth to the old base, right? I did some work there. I brought back um, this, this, and this. Okay. This is all for gardening. I'm going to start my garden right here. And in fact, I've already started it. I'm working on um, rare flowers. Yeah, two things of rare flowers. Uh, two things of rare mushrooms. And two redwood saplings. Even though I'm here in the middle of the redwoods, and I can just collect out of here on a constant basis. I already took 20 out a little while ago, and there's already another 20. I haven't really messed with it. Um, but in any case, we've got that. I'm going to have to keep those raptors a little more... in a little bit of a better area, I guess, to defend that, that spot. He came right up those freaking stairs, man. What a jerk. I just wanted to show off the place. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and show it off on the back of a raptor. That way, if something else comes up, at least we'll have a snowball's chance defending ourselves and keeping things from, you know, chasing us up here. So, yeah, there's another one. Cool. Another car now. So, anyway, right down here by the water, we put in a um, water pipe right there. And it's not enough to reach all the way up. But, this is a crappy one. Let's dispatch him real quick. Yeah, it's not enough to reach up there, but I did put out a little extension right above my head there, and I'll walk you up here and show you. There's three of these up here for now. And that's a water, uh, you know, little water tower, little water storage, and they all overlap, and but they still don't quite reach, you know, what's down there. So I had to do some finagling to make everything connect water-wise and get water flowing up here, which was kind of a pain. But all it took was this guy right down here, this little water storage right there. And what is this? This is random. Pick that up. Okay. Must have accidentally laid that down when I was uh, putting everything together here. But yeah, as you can see, it's um, coming along nicely. Now, I've used the ASR glass for here. And we're going to get a lot of these guys visiting, at least for now. But I use the ASR glass for this, and this ceiling's not going to work out. I might... I don't know, man. I'm, I'm thinking of doing some changes here to make this kind of more dome-like, which would be kind of fun. I'm going to have to play around with these uh, sloped guys here. But, yeah, we went up to the volcano. We got tons of crystal and all that, and um, tons of stone. Those are actually stone walls with the dodicarus. And really worked on making this so that everything here... Is 300% greenhouse effect. So as we plant and as things grow, it's only going to get better and better and better, you know. I can't believe they destroyed my little cooker. Well, in any case, we're going to make the big cooker here soon anyways. Uh, we got tons of metal in the area. We're going to be taking this guy on a journey for the metal. Um, I did put a bed in, I think, right over here. Yeah, this is a temporary spot for the bed. So my, my goal here is this platform is going to be garden and kitchen. Okay, all that kind of good stuff here. The other half of it is probably going to be, I would say, building, you know, all the building stuff, all the fabricators and all that fun stuff. That way I can have a nice big workshop and a nice big kitchen 
the garden area and I'm going to do it all in stone glass. I like the stone glass. I'm kind of torn between the X glass. There's a few different types. You got the X glass and then you've got this uh, borderless glass. You got some that's just got the square border around it. Then you got some that's divided into four panes and then I think 16 panes. So I've been looking at the different styles to see what looks best. And I'm not really sure. The X feels a little more reinforced, you know? Even though it's all the same, I mean, you've got 10,000. 10,000, right? So it's all the same. Um, but it just looks a little more reinforced. But this is like a really clean look, and I like it for the actual greenhouse kitchen area. It's kind of neat. Uh, during the daytime, this is going to light up really, really nice. But, yeah, the ceiling is not going to work. I might have to bring all of the separate little... These are each consist of four walls, basically bring them all to a point like that and then work between them. I don't know. I'm going to work on this one here next and then see how they connect. And that'll determine what I do with this wall. I can always just pick up these uh, glass panels and you know reuse them later on. So that's not a big deal. But tell me what you think so far of this design. I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. Now over here... Ugh. Over here, I'm thinking of doing my kind of home. You know, put my bed over here, put my personal storage and stuff like that. But it's so big over here, I don't I don't know what to do. It is a freaking galley trying to break in. What's up, dude? Pretty decent level galley, too. Let's, um, send him a message. Not welcome. Okay. I guess, oh, oh, he got the message. He's out of here. And look at this guy. You just think you can just come in here and get out of here. <laughs> Try to make a video for God's sake. This place is so unfriendly. I'm going to tell you that right now. Not that either of those two were a threat, but you guys saw the uh, the Carnos before and all that. I'm thinking of making this not connected. Like at first I was going to connect it here with a path. It looks like it's kind of lined up. I might have to pick this one up and move it just a hair. Uh, to get it lined up correctly, but you know, I was thinking of making a path across, but I don't know if I want to do that now, or if I want to just maybe make another pathway up, like I did here. Which would be kind of cool, too. My problem is, they're probably going to meet at some point, and they probably won't line up anyway. And I think I hear a terror bird down there. There's just no peace here. Definitely a terror bird. And he's attacking that galley I booted out of here. Cool. This thing I'm going to actually... Door settings. Auto close on me. There we go. Yeah, I don't want them to auto open anymore because two... You know, I could have a Carno at the door and if I walk up to it, I don't want it to open and let the Carno in. We will work on some kind of defenses here. Uh, probably Plant Species X. We're fairly close to the um, swamp, but we'll be able to gather some of those seeds here shortly. And we might make uh, you know just a couple spots there on the side of the ladder, just to keep things from you know running up and, uh, and causing some issues. I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. But yeah, this is uh, this has been a build in progress. I'm going to do a little bit more work and then bring you back after I've got this wall up, the ceiling up, and then figure out how to connect the two ceilings in between them. So we'll be back in a little bit. Alright, so we're coming in here. Let's take a look at this so far. I think I figured out how I want to do this all the way through. So it's going to be like every other wall here. And when I say wall, I mean every other four-section wall. Like we've got this one here over the planter, this one here over the entrance and all that. It's either going to be flat glass like that or the triangle glass like that. It's all going to be perfectly clear. I'm making this whole thing perfectly clear. Now when we get up to this level where the triangle peaks, right, and it meets here and here, we're going with some flat, just square glass pieces all the way to the tree trunk. So this is going to be what it looks like the entire way around. Now this is very intensive as far as uh, how much crystals needed and all that, so it's taken a while. This is uh, been 
a couple, quite a bit of footage here for this one, but we're working on it, guys, and we're going to get through it all the way around here. I don't know if I'll get it through today. I'm going to do my damnedest, but we'll see. I played around with different patterns on the glass, and I, I really like this open look in here. And don't worry, I will do something here. I'll probably use the scaffolding from Tom's Tall Tales to kind of give these things a better look, and I might even switch them to wood. Uh, just because it'll match the wood platforms. There's no stone platforms, unfortunately. There's only metal. And um, wood and metal would be kind of silly here. I don't really see the purpose of it. But, yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see which direction we go with that. I'm not 100% yet. But, yeah, we're definitely going to glass this whole thing in. So, bear with me and I'll be... Ah! Whoa! I'll be back once we have the whole thing glassed in. All right, so right now the build is done, for the moment at least, I should say. Uh, let's come around and take a look at it from a distance. And as you can see, there she is. A nice big, uh, totally glass. It's made with the ASR um, mod, um, Advanced Structures Remastered or something like that. Um, that is stone glass, so it doesn't require a ton of metal. It didn't require me to forge tons and tons of metal for it, you know, which is nice. A lot of crystal was involved, but hey. It is what it is on that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's pretty sweet looking there. Now, the whole thing is done with that. And I basically... Oh, I'm missing a... Missing some ceilings. Uh, missing sloped triangles in a couple spots. I gotta fix that, guys. My bad on that. That is unintended, but for now... We can uh, actually use it as a shortcut in. There we go. Um... Yeah, I'll get that fixed. I got two sets of them that need to be done. Okay, not a big deal. So anyway, yeah, up here is going to be the garden. Okay, we're going to extend this out a little bit. We're going to plant crops next. I want to get all four of the regular crops growing up. And then we're going to go ahead and work on berries and get a whole bunch of berries growing up. We'll probably put in the QOL gardener and the QOL, um, was it farmer? Even though I can just use this and distribute the, um, you know fill crops is necessary but I don't want to have to manually do that I'd like to have my farmer do that on a regular basis right it's the farmer that does that yeah yeah so all I gotta do is make him a bunch of Kalian soup which is not hard to do um, but this is all gonna be kitchen here um, you saw earlier on the Karna destroyed our little campfire but that's okay we'll get another one build those easy enough um, we're gonna actually probably wait up and just gather up the metal I did bring my forge with me. We'll have to go uh, get that pumping. I just got all the metal put aside for now. But um, we'll get that pumping and making a bunch of metal. And we'll make the big cooker up, the big grill. We'll put some refrigeration in. We'll get rid of this little ice box, which has been a godsend for now, though. I'll tell you that, man. <laughs> I can't. I couldn't be happier with that. We do have one bed here for now. The bedroom area is going to be somewhere different eventually. But I'm not sure yet. You know, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I just put a loft in here for myself. I don't know. Um, be kind of neat, right? You can build up a loft. Now the door automatically closes after the great incident with the uh, car. No, I didn't want to leave a door that just stays open. But you have to force close. So if I'm being followed and I don't know it, at least I have a chance of it sealing itself off. There will be some something put in here to help defend us. You know, defend the doorway at least. I don't know. Probably, I doubt we'll do turrets. It's such a, I don't know. I don't know if it's necessary out here, but it, you know, we could do something like that, or we could just put in Plant Species X, which does a great job, and won't require a ton of metal to build bullets and all that. Now, underneath, I'm thinking of building down the entire way here, right? You can see I put in a gate right here. This is the large, or no, I haven't put in a gate, but this is where I'm going to put in a gate, just like the one up here. And I might even do it underneath here on the same spot so they're kind of like right next to each other. I don't know. We'll see. I could split off this stairway and do something decorative with that. You know, we'll see. It's not a big deal either way. But yeah, I'd like to get this down here set up so that I can kind of bring some dinos down here. Maybe just put my work in dinos down here. My Dodicarus, my Anki, all the guys that I send out and use on a, you know, on a resource gathering run, the beaver, the castroids, all that fun stuff. And, um, you know, they'll be in plenty of room of the troth and all that. So that's cool. And that's a Thyla. 
not a particularly good one. But hey, dangerous. It's gonna make me bleed, so it's really gonna hurt my guy. I gotta kill him pretty quick here. The first line was spotting in the game. Nice. I'll tell you what. If he was if he was anything else, we'd have had a different type of video from the next one I got planned. But he's not, unfortunately. But we will be going Thyla hunting soon here in the Redwoods. Alright guys, so let me know what you think of the base design so far and give me some ideas for other stuff to do here. Like this one, I'm, I don't know if I want to keep this here. I might move it up. I think I can move it up on this tree. I might move it over to this tree and put a little more distance in between them, which would be kind of cool. I'm not really 100% sure what direction I want to go with that. And I'm not 100% sure what I want to do underneath there, but... This is all going to be cooking, this is all going to be gardening, and this is all going to be building in here. All of the, uh, all of the building things, you know, uh, smithies and all that fun stuff. So that's the plan for this section. If you enjoyed this video at all, please leave a like on it down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to ring that bell for notifications. I promise not to do too many build videos, but I just wanted to show off a little bit here. Um, it's not something I normally do, and I don't want to do it step by step. That would just be for everything and i don't want to do the time lapsing that's even worse i think i can't stand those videos all right guys i'll see you next time until then peace